Virginia authorities said today that the former Cowboys receiver was not the man they arrested and charged with shoplifting last month. That man identified himself as Whitehead and provided his date of birth and even his social security number, but did not have official identification on him. Whitehead was released by the Cowboys yesterday after news broke of the arrest. Team exec Stephen Jones said then that the release was the culmination of a number of incidents over the past year. The Cowboys have not yet commented on the news today. Let's bring in our NFL insider Adam Schefter for more on this story. Adam, what more can you tell us about this bizarre twist here? Well, it's not really that bizarre, David. When you spoke to Lucky Whitehead's agent yesterday, David Rich, he said they got the wrong guy in this arrest. He had a flight ticket and records that showed that Lucky Whitehead was not in Virginia at the time of the arrest. And so it was not all that strange to hear that authorities are dropping charges. Look, we've heard a number of bizarre excuses over the years. They got the wrong guy, and I've got flight records to prove it, usually is not one of them. And David Rich, the agent, sounded very convinced that his guy was not guilty, that he was not a part of this shoplifting crime. Now, again, Lucky Whitehead has had some other incidents there in Dallas, which I think contributed to his release. It made it easy for the Cowboys to release him. But you also have to keep in mind that there were players there who said that he's one of the most popular guys in that locker room. But Dallas has had so many arrests and so many missteps this offseason that it sounds like the Cowboys felt like they needed to act rashly. And it was rather easy to do it with a guy who was not instrumental to that team. And they didn't even wait to see the findings. They decided just to release him then and there. And it turned out today, those charges have been dropped. Lucky Whitehead, obviously, will be on waivers today. And another team will have a chance to claim him. I expect that another team will now claim him off of waivers based off the fact that he was not involved in this shoplifting incident. Uh, okay, so what about the Cowboys who, who really released him under uh, sort of some false information? Could they pick him up? Well, like, where do they stand as far as the waiver wire and what might happen with Lucky Whitehead? Well, they're in the back of the waiver wire order. And actually, to be perfectly frank, they are turning in the moves today by 4 o'clock. I, I, I guess they could always decide to rescind that waiver claim, but I have not heard anything of the sort that would make me think that they are. So they are in a situation, again, where Lucky Whitehead has been involved in some incidents here, albeit late for meetings. We heard about a dog being kidnapped earlier this summer, but the dog was not kidnapped or the dog was being held for ransom. I mean, he's been involved in some strange circumstances. And again, with an organization that's come under criticism for the multiple missteps and violations of the personal conduct policy that their players have engaged in, Dallas felt the need to act out right away. And again, it did that in part because of what it learned yesterday. But I think as a cumulative action, the result of everything that they've been through with Lucky Whitehead in their eyes. All right. There is certainly some irony there that they, they have a lot of guys who've been in trouble with the law and Lucky Whitehead gets cut and he was not actually. Lucky, the man who was Lucky Whitehead is the unlucky one here.